Hello and welcome to today's short strategy video. My name is Rihanna Ridman. I am an infant and early childhood mental health consultant at Children's Resource Center in Bowling Green, Ohio. Today's short strategy is how to incorporate sensory play. So what is sensory play? Sensory play is any play that involves any of the five senses. So touch, taste, sight, sound, or smell. These pictures here are just a few examples of different sensory play that you could either do at home or in a classroom. This first one is a Ziploc bag that they filled with paint. So the child can squish the paint in their hands without getting messy. Um, they can draw pictures in the paint or maybe shapes or letters. This next one is just a taste test. So offering children different kinds of foods that have different maybe textures or different tastes to see if they think maybe the food is sour, if they like that, if they don't like it, if it's sweet, bitter, or salty. And then this picture here is a sound tube. So maybe filling it with rice or beans, something that makes noise at home. You can fill it into a paper towel roll and then close it up with either tape or, um, and then you can paint it. So that way when you shake it, it makes noise. So what is the benefit of sensory play? Sensory play can inspire curiosity and creativity in children. Um, anytime that sensory play is a form of art or expression. And then also sensory play can help children manage and express their feelings in a positive way. So this first one here is some calm down bottles. So they used either glitter or beads or those little Orbeez or water beads inside a, um, inside a bottle. And when children are maybe feeling really frustrated or angry, they can shake the bottle up really fast. And then when they watch the glitter settle, it can also help them settle themselves on the inside if they're feeling really mixed up, so. This next one looks like shaving cream, maybe painting with shaving cream. It can be really helpful for children to manage those feelings if they are using their hands. So either squishing Play-Doh or um, spreading out paint or maybe using a sensory bin with maybe rice or different kinds of textures or materials can really help to kind of get that energy out. This next one here is a nature scavenger hunt. So they can use their sense of sight to find different materials in nature that are different colors. That could be something that they are collecting for their classroom or maybe they wanna make something with that at home. So how can I incorporate sensory play? Sensory play is again, very beneficial for children and you can do a mixture of all the senses or maybe if you're just focusing on one sense, um, this first one is touch, so having a sensory bin either at school or at home, you can just fill a tub with any kind of different sensory materials, so um, something that, you know, different textures, different, um, different materials with like rice, or you could use um, sprinkles. They, they have um, ideas for using a sandbox or a garden. Um, using a water table, so filling that with bubbles or with different little figurines, things that children can, you know, play with in the water. Making cloud dough or moon sand. Slime is another really big one that children really like to play with. And again, this is something that they're manipulating with their hands, so it helps them to kind of release that energy or tension um, in a positive way. Another idea would be having soft fabric. So, this can be you know, calming to children if they have maybe a soft blanket that they can cuddle with or a stuffed animal. Um, the next one would be taste. So doing maybe a food challenge or making edible Play-Doh, um, using different food coloring. So sometimes children think that food coloring will change the taste of something. So um, maybe you could read the Dr. Seuss book, uh, Green Eggs and Ham. And then you could use food coloring to see if the green eggs taste differently than yellow eggs. Or children really love to bake. So um, maybe baking something together, giving them the opportunity to put the flour into the measuring cup and then dump it into the bowl. Um, so for sight, we talked about the calming sensory bottle bottles and then a nature scavenger hunt. Also using light and shadow. So finding something either in nature or in the classroom or at home that you can um, maybe see through and find that they do create a shadow. 
playing a matching game is another idea for a site sensory play idea. Um, we talked about using sound tubes. You can make homemade musical instruments, maybe listening to calming music in the classroom, whether that's classical or maybe just having a sound machine that plays um, rain sounds or the sound of the ocean. That can be very calming for children. Playing a game like Guess the Noise, so if you hold something behind your back and maybe crinkle up a piece of paper and then have children guess what that noise is. Um, you know, playing with bubble wrap in the sensory bin can be very fun and it also has, you know, different sounds that it makes. Having a dance party or playing freeze dance. And then lastly, um, for your sense of smell, maybe playing with Play-Doh and then putting a couple drops of different essential oils. Um, you know, having different smells when we're playing with Play-Doh or, you know, either using a wallflower or one of those plug-in fragrance that you can put into the classroom or at home that can kind of create a, um, you know, a good smelling room that children feel calm, maybe with lavender or vanilla, some, some kind of calming scent. Playing with scented bubbles or coloring with scented markers. And then also you could use scratch and sniff stickers. So these were just a few ideas of ways that you can incorporate sensory play either at home or school. If you would like some more resources about sensory play, please feel free to email me. My email address is R at crcwoodcounty.org. Sensory play is an evidence-based strategy from DECA, so that comes from the Devereaux Center for Resilient Children. There are tons and tons of sensory play ideas on Pinterest. That's where I found a lot of the ones that I gave as examples. And then lastly, please like us on Facebook at CRC Infant and Early Childhood Connection. Thank you.